What is up guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video. This is going to be a tutorial video on how to edit green screen uh, face cam footage. Um, if you're doing gameplay videos, right here you can see my editor is open. Um, it's open to Premiere Pro CS6. I thought you guys liked this idea um, for a video just in case you guys were ever wondering how I edit my green screen face cam footage. Or if you guys yourself want to do this in the future, first things first, you're going to want to have a webcam, which I already have here. And you're going to want to have an Elgato capture card. Um, you record the Elgato capture card first, and then you record the uh, photo booth uh, webcam second. So once you have that and you have a green screen as well um, in your background separating you from the uh, background, you're going to want to take your um, video editing software and then you're going to want to bring it um, up onto your uh, monitor here, which I have right now. So you're going to want to drag and import all the files and footages that you have for the face cam and the gameplay um, into your uh, computer just simply by going to file and import. Um, once you have all that into uh, this little dock area here, you're going to take the gameplay footage and bring it down like so. You're going to want to say either keep existing settings or change sequence settings, which there isn't really much of a difference if you choose uh, change sequence settings. So once you have that, you're going to have an area similar to this, which you can uh, enlarge and enclose the waveform. Um, you're going to want to have the waveform out, um, which you can change through here. You just press these little buttons here on the software system. Uh, then you're going to go to the beginning of your uh, audio file here. I already have it marked down from when I previously started uh, rendering out my uh, video. Um, it didn't render out the way that I wanted to, which is why I ended up doing just a uh, walkthrough um, for you guys here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the sequence where this all starts. And I'm going to play this uh, just to make sure. Recording. All right. And we are recording. All right, then you're going to want to go down to the timeline and figure out where that starts. All Let's right, play we through are recording. It. We got Uncharted going on, yo. Just hear a little bit of the background from when I uh, first started recording with the Elgato. And... Situated. Yeah, we... All right, so you're going to want to drag the timeline head over just about to where m your mouth moves. Then you're going to want to drag the footage onto the timeline here. And we are recording. So they should all match. Um, you can also uh, bring out the audio waveform for the second channel of the audio from here. Just do the same thing you did before. Bring it out and make sure that they all match. So you're going to want to enlarge this a little bit uh, just so nothing's out of line. Uh, once you know that they're situated correctly, and mess around with this a little bit. Um, then you're going to want to replay this just to see if it's uh, aligned with the audio. There's uh, software you can buy that can help you with uh, taking the video footage and the Elgato footage and syncing it together. I've seen it used on in school with like other projects and stuff. But I just figured I'd do this without buying the extra $200, $300 uh, software, which would kind of increase the price of my whole setup here, which I'm just editing on a MacBook Pro anyway, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, but we're going to enlarge this and view it. Recording. PlayStation menu screen. Alright, so everything's uh, done recording. I'm going to drag this down a little bit here, and I'm going to decrease the size of my face cam footage, which you can see me drag in that little corner. Um, you can drag any corner that you want. I just choose uh, that corner just because it's a specific corner within the frame. Um, you can move this anywhere you want to within the frame of your gameplay footage, but it should be generally in the side corner here um, with the rest of your footage. So once we have that, we're going to go to um, Effects after enlarging the timeline, which I failed to do before. Um, what I like to do is I like to uh, cut off the excess fat here of the uh, Elgato that you're not going to be using. I'm going to be cutting it down a little bit more um, later before I finish this uh, tutorial video, but you probably won't see that. You'll probably just see the parts that I'm editing here. But you're going to want to go down to not dissolve or any of the video transitions. You're going to want to go to video effects, and you're going to want to go to king, and you're going to want to take the edge point garage or garbage mat. I keep calling it garage. I don't know why I do that. But you're going to want to drag it onto the face cam footage. And when you have it dragged onto the face cam footage, it's going to look like this. You're going to go to effects controls, and you're going to click on the little button there. 
and you're going to move these little points around your green screen so that it closes off that little black line at the top. So I'm going to do that here, let you see what it's like. You're going to move it down to a corner. And you may need to edit this um, if there's like stuff showing within your gameplay footage because it doesn't look good uh, when you have stuff popping out of your screen. Um, it just looks kind of messy like you didn't do any professional work to it. Um, this is all in Premiere. Um, I could do a video of me editing this stuff in After Effects, which is a little bit easier, which is what I usually like to do. But since I'm editing in Premiere and since my computer's fast enough, I'll just edit it in Premiere anyway. Um, so you got that. You got the border um, taken off that black kind of chunk of the green screen from the edges of it. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go back into Effects. You're going to go down to the color key or go up to the color key and you're going to drag that color key onto your face cam footage. And you're going to do, you're going to grab that little color picker here. And so what that's going to do is you're going to take the color picker, drag it to the green on the green screen, and then you're going to go to color tolerance and you're going to move that up so that you take away part of the green screen. And I usually like to do it more than once because if you do it all in once, it usually takes off part of your uh, video and it doesn't look good when you're editing. It doesn't look professional at all. It looks like you just sloppily put it together. So I'm going to do it a second time. And I'm going to take away more of this video, more, more of the green screen of the video. There we go. And that should be enough. And then I'm going to take off some of the bottom. And we're going to drag the color key over here and place it towards that little bottom green screen clipping. There we go. So that's taken care of. I might adjust this a little bit more. But uh, there you go. Uh, so that's kind of the gist of editing green screen footage um, in a Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, this is just to help out sort of people that are into doing gaming videos and things like that. Uh, this is similar to what PewDiePie does with his gameplay videos and stuff like that. Um, he uses After Effects and Adobe Premiere, which is super easy to learn. It doesn't really take that much to learn how to edit the timeline. You know, at first it kind of seems kind of scary, kind of uh, frustrating, but once you learn where all the tools and stuff are and get the hang of where the effects and stuff like that are. You can create some really cool stuff with this software. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and kind of a little bit of a behind the scenes video of how I do my videos here on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this, you want to see more, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.